So here I am, day 20 recovery, and it should be like day 23, but um, I haven't made videos in a couple days. I was uh, checking out my little old radio here, check it out, hope you can see it. I got to turn the light on, let me try the light. I always forget when I'm outside, since I'm outside, you know, here it is. I gotta dust it off. See, it has all this paint. Well, it's not paint; it's dust from sanding and stuff. You know, you know how old that is. That's from like 16, six years ago. It's just a little cheap radio. I put batteries in for emergencies, I guess. But do what you gotta do. But I found it. Let's see what's on. Let's see what's on. Nothing. Nothing's playing. There. Okay. Play all kinds of different stuff, I guess, eh? See how fuzzy it is? Woo! Dance and music, huh? See how fuzzy it is? So old. I gotta spray it out. But the only station that comes in is about right here. Right there. Talk radio. See, that's old fashioned. You see my little radio? That's old fashioned. But anyway. Day 20 recovery. And it's great. Yeah, baby. No, it's not. Because you know why? <clears throat> I'm still depressed. I'm, 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 I'm hurting. I'm hurting. I'm hurting. I don't know what to do, man. I'm looking for a job. I'm trying to do things around the house. But, uh, I was going around the house and, and, you know, I got the living room all cleaned out where that looks okay, but, you know, there's nothing matching and this and that. It's just garbage big furniture. You know, I got the kid sleeping in his room for the first time and, you know, we're talking. I just got him sleeping in there a couple months ago and he's 18, so, I mean, you know, this is a different life we live. It's 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 not the normal life. And when when you see others live in the normal life, you you would think what's normal. You think that you should have that. You're you're not living it, man. You're you're feeling really weird. You're feeling really out of place. So anyway, I, I was happy. I, I I'm going through this room. I dumped a bunch of crayons that 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 were in this couple bins I put them on one he's like oh let me see that you know so he's he's busy with that right now and I'm outside but um I'm going I'm going through this room I mean I'm doing room by room it take forever but you know I need a, I need a job I need to be working I mean I, this might sound nuts but I really feel for those other people who don't have the husbands that are there to work for them and stuff because you know I'm not saying this to be rude to Brian, but this is all on me. We don't have enough money. This is all on me, and I don't know what to do, and I got problems myself. So, I'm trying to figure it all out. I'm going to take you off me for a minute. But I'm trying to figure it all out. I'm trying to I'm trying to figure it all out because I, I don't know what to do for a job. I mean... They, they cut me so bad at the last one, there's only one route left, you know, I had to quit. I had to quit. It wasn't even worth the gas money. It wasn't worth the wear and tear. It's terrible. So anyway, on the other hand, throughout the years, when you have an autistic kid, you, you seem to gather a whole bunch of stuff. They're, they're really, like, obsessive to where they, 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 they save things, they, they make things, they're, 
They do so many things, you just can't even keep up with it. Put it that way. Autistic kids. So many things, you just can't keep up with it. Your whole house becomes like a disaster. It does. What's up, buddy? That's our foot bucket for when the mud... I gotta rinse it out again. But when the mud, see? Can't see over there. <laughs> but anyway, your whole house gets cluttered. It gets gathered, like... Think of compulsive. Majorly compulsive. That's how it is. Well, I can't keep up with the compulsive. I can't. And then, and then when you're around the compulsive, you seem to get compulsive. I mean, hear it in my voice. That's how it is. It's like, you know, when you're around people like the way they are, it sometimes you become the way they are. But, you know, like, like in the Bible, it says, you know, stay away from evil people or you become evil or stay away from... You know, this, you become this. Well, you can't stay away from autistic kids. I'm sorry. You can't. And so if I'm accidentally becoming that, okay, this don't make sense to me. These are the questions that I want answered in the Bible. I want more about the disabled. And like I said, I think in one of my other videos, you know, when, when, when Jesus went to heal the blind man, uh, some of the disciples asked, well, you know, whose fault is this? Is it, is it the blind man's or the parents or, or what? And, and he's, Jesus said, none of them. It's none of their faults. So, see, it didn't answer the question for me. It didn't answer the question, especially, my ear just shut off. It, it didn't answer the question, like, especially, you know, like, just answers. Answers like, okay, it's not the blind guy's fault. It's not the blind guy's parents' fault. He's healed now, which is great. So should I focus on the healing? Yes, I know that. But still, there's some difficulties involved with... I don't know how to explain this, guys. And, and I'm, I'm really, really, really having a hard time. But do you see where I'm getting to? If anybody else can, can explain the rest of this, if, if they can help me add some words to what I'm asking, I guess I'm asking, when it, when it comes up against the disabled people... I'm talking from birth, later, whatever. You know, there's no answers. And I don't know, maybe for some reason I think... I'm not saying that the disabled crowd should be... You know, what should I say? Treated different. I mean, I think they should be treated different. Like, what can I say here? I get all tongue-tied. I don't even want to... I don't know what I want to say. But I think when it comes up in the Bible, when you're reading the Bible, when you add in the disabled, it, it really, really, really brings up question. It does. Because if you treated the disabled exactly like you treated normal people, these disabled people would be out of luck. They'd be up Shit's Creek. You can't do that. So, how do you like my cement square? Ain't it great? I see my little bleach bottle laying there. I was whipping it in the pool over there that you can't see. I, I got to pick it up. But see, do you see my questions I got? I need answers. And so anyway, I'm going through the house a little bit more today. I'm in a, I'm in a total depression. Uh, you know, I'm up against finding a job and this and that. And I can't even walk on my leg. My leg, my knee is bad. I need knee surgery. I know I do. But if by chance I could get Medicaid, which I'm waiting on the approval, and you know all that deal, when I applied for my son, I applied for myself. And there is nothing. They sent to the wrong case, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, maybe I could get knee surgery. Maybe I could get back up and, and running. I mean, but I'm faced up against to get a job when I'm physically not even able myself. And now I'm like ended up mentally not able myself. This is hard. That's all I'm saying. So if anybody has any answers for anything with the disabled in the Bible, uh, the few things I've read, it, it still leaves it unopened. There, there's no answers. And, and I think that's why a lot of people have a problem reading the Bible. I think that they, you know, they don't get the answers they need. But I, what I'm telling you is don't give up reading it. You know, keep reading the Bible. Um, I'm sure that some of the answers that we have will, will pop up eventually. So please comment below. Give me some tips, ideas of what you might have come across to the disabled. I mean, I pretty much already know where the, some of the verses are, like in Matthew and a few others, but I mean, 
what else has to go with the question? I'm not really sure what I'm asking. I'm just saying that it seems really different when it comes up against the disabled. And I don't even know how to tell you. I, w I wish I did. So anybody have any comments or questions or, or answers or hints or ideas or anything that will help me along the way to, to understand that, you know, the, the hard life I'm, I'm going through, yeah, well, what do I do? Just what do I do? I get, what do I do? Where are the answers in the Bible for the disabled? They're, they're left unopened. So I'm not saying I got anything against the Bible. What I'm saying is I'm stumped. I'm stumped. I'm stumped. All right. Thanks for watching. Stay beautiful. Stay you. And I love you. I love people. I want people to know they're loved. It's very important because you can go and, and, and just like 10 minutes ago, I was depressed and crying. Believe it or not, I was depressed and crying. I was listening to a song. I'm depressed and crying. Came outside to make a video to see if I can help myself. I mean, you might think I'm nuts, but this is what I do. I don't have any medical to go, go see a psychiatrist. I wish I did. And if I did go to a psychiatrist, I want to go to one that's good. I want to go, go to one that knows what they're saying and doing. I mean, honestly, I have been to social workers. I have been to this, that. I've been with my son. I've been with other people. That I, I don't think that the, these, these psychiatrists and social workers are helping people. I don't. I just really don't. And I, I'm sick and tired of it. So maybe maybe some of these videos I make will help others. But stay beautiful, stay you, and I love you. Thanks for watching.